Physics is a science that covers a very wide area of the material world, ranging from research on subatomic particles to studying galaxies. In physics, what's most important is the composition and behavior of matter and all of its fundamental laws. The most fascinating works on physics that have been created by Islamic scientists are about the domain of physics optics. Ibn al-Haytam, in Europe more commonly called by his Latinized name Al-Hazan, was born in the city of Basra in 965. He went to neighborhood schools and moved to Baghdad to study science on a higher level like many Arab scientists did at that time. However, he may have had some issues with the Fatimid Caliph Al-Hakim bi Amr Allah, which resulted in him being grounded in 1011. He would be grounded for a couple of years until the Caliph died in 1021. Afterwards, he moved to Spain to focus on science once again. At the end of his life, he returned to his home country, Egypt, where he died in 1039. Ibn al-Haytam is mainly known from his work in optics, which didn't go by unnoticed in Europe. In his seven-piece book Kitab al-Manazir, he began with some very harsh criticism towards several theories from the past. One of these theories was the theory of vision. One of the things he examined was what happens when someone is exposed to bright light. He discovered that light going from an external source into the eye has a certain influence on one's vision. In order to expand knowledge, he began with a series of experiments, in which he investigated the relation between light fraction and image distortion. He learned that the mathematical aspect of optics, in this case being the reflection and fraction, to correspond with the knowledge of the anatomy of the eye. In his book, Ibn al-Haytham elaborated of the fact that light that reaches the eye comes from the visible object. Ibn al-Haytham often used the term al-Bayt al-Muslim in his experiments, which translates into the dark room. With that, he also developed his camera obscura, which is a camera that sends an image through a small hole. None of his predecessors, who just like Ibn al Haysam, studied the effects of light which go through a camera obscura, were able to prove that everything which is projected on the screen came from the other side of the hole. With that, Ibn al Haysam became the first to prove this by means of an experiment using a lamp with which several light sources were spread and arranged throughout a large surface. He was also the first scientist to successfully project an image onto a screen using a camera obscura. As such, Ibn al-Haytham was the first scientist in history to develop a working camera.